Hello everyone, Penny here, and it has been a while um, since I come on with the Smith Devotion. It will be listed in the group, Art Bible Journaling Group. Super excited, and uh, I haven't got quite July's finished, and I, as you all know, I will backtrack and do the best I can to finish. I did post a few videos, I mean, I'm sorry, a, a few um, of the Bible margin art imagery, and that will be on these little index cards. So if you're wondering, like, why is she showing us these little bad sketches? <laughs> it is because that is my sketches for the imagery um, that I do for my Bible journal. Then I'll get into my Bible, or I'll get on the computer and design a printable for you all based on the sketch, the best that I can so with that being said i will backtrack with july because i did share some with july um some of these uh little index cards of the bible imagery that i did uh, <clears throat> that came to me while i was reading and studying the devotion for that day and i will actually like i said i will backtrack and i will do the best that i can to come up with the 31 days am i right 31 days for july um and then for august um this book has i think 31 of every day every month i do believe let me see real quick yeah it has 31 so every month has 31 from my understanding i think let me check No, September. Okay, so some do, some don't. All right, so I guess it's based on the month. All right, so for August the 1st, which today is our first official day of school, so I'm super excited for that. So I wanted to come in here and just do a quick video, give you guys an update, because I know it's been a while, and I apologize, but uh, ministry, uh, outreach ministries and stuff were going on. Doors have been opening up. Um, I reopened up the natural health ministry. So I'm just super excited for everything that the Lord is doing, but I cannot forsake what the Lord has led me to do in the beginning. I've got to fulfill that and finish that and complete that right so i just thank the lord for the opportunity to come on here the group is growing and i will provide free printables you know as much as i can for you all and come on here and let's discuss for august the 1st the title is a life ministry and as you know i will not read the entire thing because i will leave the link down um in the files it should be uh for august if it's not there should be uh, the whole entire book there from a third-party source. It's not mine, so don't think it is. Um, so the scripture comes from Romans chapter 14, verse 16. Do not let your good be spoken of as evil. And I'm just going to read just highlights of this um, just to... Um, just to give a little bit of, of you know background information and that way you can go ahead and and read uh yourself the whole entire devotion for today and i'm gonna be uh there's also scriptures so let me get to the scriptures i'll tell you what scriptures and you can pause this video at any time to start jotting down the scripture so our first scripture uh our scripture reading actually comes from romans chapter 14 galatians 5 verse 16 is mentioned and then I'm skimming through, so give me just a second. Philippians chapter 1, verse 23 and 24. And then I believe, yeah, this is from 23. And then, okay, so our thought for, the for today is we will have to be utterly slain if we want to know the resurrection power of Jesus. So I'm going to skim through and I'm going to share with what. The Lord has, uh, when I was reading this, uh, my highlighted areas, it says, He lifts, enlightens, and unveils the truth in a new way until we grasp it. We must understand these days that the Lord wants to chasten and bring a people right into a full tied position. May God give us a very keen inward discerning of our heart's purity, of our heart's purity. We want to go to heaven. It is far better for us to go, but it is far better for, for, uh, for the church that we stay. And that's Philippians chapter 1 if you want to read more about that. Lord, for your purpose of being a further blessing for your sake and for the sake of the church, 
just keep us full of life. Uh, and this is what he says here. This is from him. It's sort of like, it's talking about um, believing that God made us for the proclamation of the gospel. May the Lord grant to us right now a living faith to believe. And I love that. A living faith to believe. So when he talked about in here, uh, a full tide position. And when I thought about that full tide, I got to thinking about a sailboat and how when it gets full tide, if I'm not mistaken, um, either they'll, you know, when the more wind comes in a sailboat, you know, they'll open um, their sails to catch a wind. But if there's more, if I'm not mistaken, now it's been a long time since I took sailing classes. So if it's not, if I'm not mistaken, they will actually, uh, if there's more wind, then they will shorten the sails. And I've got to think about full tide, you know, how that the, when it's full tide, there's more water movement and there's more uh, current to the water and things like that. So then that means that they wouldn't be sailing with their sails all the way down. They would, you know, so I, I don't remember, so don't quote me on all that, but it's been a long time since I've took sailing classes. But I just wanted to come on. This is the imagery. And if you see, it says full right there in the sails. And it says tied over here. And it does have a motor and a steering wheel and things like that. So this is just what popped, you know, into my mind when I was reading it. Um, so a life ministry and everything that I can think of here, you know, it says now a living faith to believe. And not a dead faith, but a living faith. And that is just having full sail, having full full tide, you know, full tide ahead, full current, Um Moving is the key here, the movement, so that we may grasp it. He lifts and lightens and unveils the truth in a new way until we grasp it. That's like the, the sails, if I'm not mistaken, they will lift them and it lightens the boat a little bit when the wind, the current is up and the tide, full tide. So anyway, if you guys go sailing a lot and you know, and you can correct me at the bottom, that's totally fine. It's been a very, very long time since I have took sailing classes, but I had to one year for PE. I had to learn about sailing because I had injured my knee and, uh, uh, actually, at school, actually, I had a bully that actually pushed me down the steps and hurt my knee. And so, therefore, I was out of, I had to use the elevator and everything. So, you know, uh, so I learned about sailing. Yeah, I'm like, cool. So, hey, yeah, we did go on a boat a lot. We went fishing a lot, a ton, a ton we went fishing. But we didn't go fishing on a sailboat. We went on a pontoon boat. But anyway, I learned a lot that year about sailing, let's just say. I want to thank you all for hanging in here with me and having, you know, now a living faith to believe. I just, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And um, if you, uh, I will hang on. I will have a principle for you guys regarding this. And then I will start trying to back up July like I did June. So check out June's. It is there. And of course, you can use June. There's no specific thing about June's that you can't use again. Um, so anyway, so tomorrow is August the 2nd and, um, we will be discussing in affliction for the church. So we'll be discussing that. So check out the links down below, check out the files in the group and you will be able to, uh, come go along with me with the daily devotion. And I hope to, and pray that's my little dog He's wanting out, ignore that. Um, I hope and pray that I will be able to do this somewhat daily i need to do some pre-recording don't i um but anyway I, hopefully i can get back and settled get a balance going on so that we can because i love doing this and if you haven't checked out hold on if you haven't checked out the worksheet that i have available uh to go and correlate with the smith wigglesworth book it is free free as well and um the uh the group in the in the files but uh, i just wanted to come on and do that one with you please check out the links down below i hope you have a wonderful and blessed day bye everyone